It's the start of day two and it's raining again. This weather really can't make up its mind. But I thought we got off to a winning start yesterday. Two great properties, the first of which offered everything that Ian and Christy were looking for on paper, but in reality it was a little bit small for them. The second gave them more rooms than they could have wished for, but the garden just wasn't enough. And overall, I really felt that Ian was struggling to see past the owner's furniture. So for our mystery house, we're going to force him to use his imagination a bit more. This property is all about the potential. So what do you think we might show you with the mystery house? I can imagine it might be something that needs some work for me to sort of use my interior design skills. I don't know. I mean, I was thinking, uh, you, you know, the possibility of a, of a big project. So would you enjoy that? Um, I would do, yeah. It just depends on the extent, I think. As long as there wasn't too much work to do, I think it would be, yeah, good fun. Yeah, I think, uh, I think your definition of a project and mine yeah. might be a little bit different, so... We'll keep them guessing a bit longer. One thing that will please Ian is that our mystery house is less than a 15-minute drive from Milton Keynes, in the village of Deanshanger, Northamptonshire. Along with a very active community, amenities include a post office and a choice of local pubs. For the Mystery House, we've found them a property steeped in history, but it's going to need a little bit of work. Now! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at this! <laughs> the Mystery Property! Wow! Yeah. You did guess fairly well that it may be a bit of a project. You didn't guess just how old that project was. A, a bit of a project. This is 14th century, grade two listed. Wow. It was originally a monastery. Really? So just like the Christian properties back then, it was in the shape of a cross. Over the centuries, there have been some additions. Uh -huh. And then it was sort of modernised a bit in t inside in the 80s. I'm intrigued to know just how big a project it is, but my first impressions are it's, it's, it's just hugely impressive. It's, yeah. it's fantastic. But will you be impressed by the inside? I'll tell you one thing you will be impressed by. The front door, come this way. Mm -hmm. Super. Our mystery house has sparked their interest and intrigue. So let's move inside and discover what lies behind these historic walls and door. Look at this door. I mean, this tells you it's 14th century, doesn't it? It's not a proper front door, that, isn't it's it? It's not a front door. Really? And it's kept Cromwell's men out at times. Really? Because during the dissolution of the monastery, this used to be a place where priests would come to hide. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I, this I, is it's today. just full of character, isn't it? And yeah, it, what are we talking about? Yeah, there's a, there's a real wow factor here. Almost, almost, not quite, but almost speechless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go speechless yet. <laughs> you are coming alive, I like it. You're very excited by this. Come this way. Hello. So, you have another <laughs> living room. Another living room. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. More beams. Yeah, lovely again. You can see the current owners have got a little conservatory out there. It is a yeah. bit dated in need of work. Yeah. There's definitely opportunities. Mm -hmm. The one oh, thing you really it. can't touch is that staircase. Mm. Jacobean with a preservation order on it. <gasps> really? Wow, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that I suppose is very important to you still is the kitchen. Yes. Mm? Mm -hmm. yeah. Shall we have a look at that? Yeah. Yes, I'd love to get your thoughts. It's back out that way. Okay, I'll lead the way. Let's see what Christie's design vision might be in here. Come on in. Very traditional style kitchen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's not the kitchen you've described to me before, the big sort of open plan. No. But there is still a lot in here and you've got great yeah. features. You've got the range style yeah. cooker so there and an electric one so you can cook in both methods. Okay. Yeah. And you have got a, a larder pantry over there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There is another option, I, I think. There is mm. another reception room off the main living room, right. which opens out, and there's potentially a space where you could swap the kitchen to over there. It's a bit bigger. OK, good. Still happy? Yeah, still, 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 happy. Still, still positive. Still Excellent. Positive Let's head upstairs. Let's okay, see okay. the bedrooms. Goes the way. There's plenty of scope for updating the decor, although they'll obviously need to go through the planning process if they want to adapt the internal living spaces as it's listed. Also on this floor is a laundry room and bathroom. We're now making our way upstairs. So four bedrooms and this is the master. 
and the biggest. Wow. <laughs> that is a huge bed. Nice. Which for a property of this age, comes with an ensuite. I think it's great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was just thinking it wouldn't actually. I think it's older than we'd initially envisaged or, or you, you know, we're perhaps looking for. But I don't think that's a, that's a bad thing. So good? that just leaves the outside and the price. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. that's going to be very interesting. It is, isn't it? <laughs> very, start thinking. Mm. Off to you. The first floor also provides two family bathrooms for the three other bedrooms, all of which are good-sized doubles and have spectacular views. Time to survey the extent of the land our mystery house comes with. So this is the garden and it's quite extensive. It's definitely the biggest we've shown you of the three properties because okay. it doesn't just go to that fence, it extends beyond there. <gasps> so that paddock beyond would be yours as well. Oh, wow. Yes. And then back down this way <laughs> you have this comment. orchard. I thought, yeah. yeah. Wow. Apples and green gauges. Up to the gate. Up to the gate there. Right. Wow. And then you get this double garage which comes with a loose box at the end so you could have a little pony. Oh. Sounds good. <laughs> Fantastic. So, taking all of that into consideration, oh. how much do you think this property is on the market for? That is a, oh, that this is is a really tough. tough question, isn't it? Um, I'm going to go for 720,000. I'm going to go for 735. Okay, that oh. sort of price, is this in contention potentially? You'll have to ask Possibly. This one. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> That's good to know. Mm. Because you could get your hands on this house for £650,000. Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm very surprised <laughs> by that. Mm. Oh, indeed. <laughs> so, armed with that information, have a real wonder and explore around this property. And uh, I'll see you later on because it's the <coughs> end. That's it. It's decision oh. time after that. Great. Yes. All right. Well, off you go. Thank you. Oh, they're so hard to measure. They really like this property. It offers them the history, the space, the outside acreage, and it comes in at a great price. And yet, they're still holding back a little. Priced at £650,000, our historic mystery house leaves them a £100,000 pot to renovate and update this into a fabulous family home. It retains a wealth of original features, including that Jacobean staircase. The large kitchen has great potential. It offers four double bedrooms, one with ensuite, all wrapped up in extensive grounds, which include a paddock, an orchard, and a stone outbuilding. But given that it's listed, it does beg the question if it's a project too far. Oh, that's another nice room. It is, yeah. Mm, it's a beautiful fireplace there. What would you use it for? Study? They've obviously got it as a, as a sort of study, haven't they? It yeah. It seems to lend itself to that. Yeah, it'd be quite good for my coursework as well, because it's quite light in here, isn't it? Yeah. Very light, big room. I can't help thinking... There's a theme around this house, isn't there? Yeah. Um, from the outside, the mystery house, very impressive. Um, quite an imposing look about it, but I like that. And yeah, really grand looking house. Just bags of character again and a real feeling of space. So I think we were both really impressed. I do keep my cards close to my chest. Um, and that's the way they're going to remain firmly close to my chest. And I'm not going to go as far as to say I love this house. But it's a great house, hugely impressive and you're going to struggle not to be impressed with uh, this sort of property. I think this is exactly the kind of property that Christie's looking for for a project. But will it work for Ian? Hello. Hello. Enjoy Hello. that? Yes, very much. It's yeah. a fabulous property to wander around, isn't it? Yeah. You've seen them all seen now. Yeah, we have. It's all about making decisions. Uh, let's find somewhere to sit down. Okay. okay. Well, we've had a, a good couple of days, haven't we? Looking we at have. Properties. Yeah, we've had a super couple of days. So we've shown you three, I that say, very different properties, really. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go through them one at a time. We started with that barn conversion. I remember walking up to that and your face going, this is not detached. <laughs> <laughs> I've got neighbours touching me. But just talk me God through your bit. first impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected, I think. Um, perhaps the lack of a second floor or something as well. It's 
still had a nice look about it, I felt, though, and I don't have such a problem with neighbours, to be honest. Mm. I was, yeah, really impressed with that. And the, the kitchen diner and the living space are just, yeah, gorgeous rooms. I agree with all of that. Um, but it was actually a comment that Christy made to me when she said, we'll grow out of this property quite quickly. So overall, a little bit too small for you. Second property, size wasn't an issue. It was huge and detached, but quite modern. Yeah, it was surprising. Yeah, yeah, inside, it almost felt older than the first property. I think the thing about the second property for me was that the upstairs was fantastic. And I just felt it worked um, that little bit better than the downstairs did. So I was, I was really taken with the upstairs, I must say. And I don't know, maybe if I live upstairs and you live... No, no, Cheeky. no. <laughs> No, we won't. We won't, we, we won't do that just yet. <laughs> not, no, no. <laughs> not now. <laughs> but the mystery house was something different altogether again. A real period property with loads of history. I thought the building was a really impressive, imposing building. You couldn't, you couldn't help but be impressed. The living area was, was a fantastic room. Big high ceilings, period features, fantastic fireplace. I thought, to be honest, the, the outside area begged as many questions as it answered, really, because I just wondered what you would do with that piece of land, in, all, all joking aside. Yeah. But that was it. That was all the properties. Yeah. Yeah. No time to think about it. Were any of our properties the right one for you? So I think uh, property three, the mystery property, um, is a definite maybe for me. Um, so that's the one for you. For me, what yeah. about you, Ian? I think I'd like to return to properties two and three. You surprised me, you two. You played those cards close to your chest all along. <laughs> <laughs> but to have two out of three that you're interested in is fantastic. Mm. What are the next steps then? Are you heading back there soon? I think probably next steps are to revisit the villages that these properties are actually situated in mm -hmm. to work out exactly what the commute times are and to probably have another look round and really challenge ourselves. Yeah. Overall it's been it's been fun. Thank well, you. We've enjoyed spending time with you. We'll love it even more if you buy a property. <laughs> so let us know how you get on. Yeah we sure Best we will of do. Luck. Thank right. you. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> Well, there's a surprise. We seem to have hit the mark with not one, but two of our properties. Although the jury's still out until Ian and Christy have done a little bit more investigation. I have a feeling, though, that it's the mystery house that's going to win out at the end of the day. The big question is, will they have enough courage to take on a project like that? I'll see you next time on Escape to the Country.